She healed a lot. Wait. My characters healed a lot. Alright, so if Matrona releasing, of course I have to give it a try on with her on PvP as well. Even though she's not actually made for PvP, so don't expect the most amazing performance. She isn't even made for the bird. But why not? I might as well try it. Uh she like she is literally green the end. Like there's a, there's not much of a difference other than the fact that I would say her ultimate and her attack card are better. But I think Dien's passive is better than her passive. Dien's passive, of course, in the first turn, she gets that a nice protection for the first hit, which can come in clutch if they don't break it with an AoE, right? They just do a single target and have to attack her first. Um, that taunt can be very, you know, helpful, actually. And she, you know, Matrona has the passive that for each... Um, the, the the diminished uh, that was the word I was looking for diminished HP um, regeneration rate of all allies increases by two percent or not regeneration just just regeneration of all allies increases by two percent to the start of the turn I don't know how good this will actually be in PvP like again for the bird but let's give it a try why not so this is honestly the only team a unit like Matrona can really be good for right now. Um, Alt Rush. Like, their taunts right now are just not that great because we're, we're in a situation right now where we have Bon, um, Margaret, and to an extent Galfer, which are AoE units. They're the meta characters and they don't really care for single targeting. Again, I, I include Galfer there, even though Galfer's attack is single target, but I'm talking more about his purple card. His purple card doesn't care if someone's talking he's gonna seal everyone anyways you know and you know same thing with bond his attack is aoe margaret her attack is aoe so the meta characters are all aoe anyways so really having a unit taunting for like throughout the match isn't like that great but why not i'm still gonna give her you war gear i want to use her more for the bird i am waiting to have enough um was it bingo tickets? Should be able to get her full cosmetics uh, and stuff like that. But in any case, let's see what we got. Blue Roxy. I think this is this shouldn't be my first time ever facing Blue Roxy. This might be my second time. Blue Roxy is one of those units you don't really see very often. Um. I have to pick one ultimate to get. I might go ahead. Oh, he's gonna, yeah, debuff. See, this is why you actually need to use Margaret. I'm gonna switch Emilia for Margaret. I, 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 um, <clears throat> you know, I put there the, uh, the Emilia, but. Honestly, I'm just gonna freeze Galper so he doesn't debuff me again. Heavy meta! Very quick. Heavy meta! Give me a second. I, I actually forgot what Roxy's. Um, well, one of her cards does. One, one, yeah, it's Fuel Ultimate. It's okay. <clears throat> oh, I just choked on my own. On my own um, breath. Uh, <laughs> Um, I knew her AoE disables attack skills, but I forgot what her single target did. It feels ultimate gauge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and... I guess I'll attack you? I don't want to waste Emilia cards, because I'm going to lose damage, but I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. So he doesn't push an ultimate again. Or at all. Does Roxy's passive bypass ultimate? It does, right? I think so. So if, she, if he goes for Roxy's ultimate, he, he might actually get, get me in trouble here. I don't think he's doing that. Do you, do you. 
And I'm gonna... I'm gonna never mind the Amelia and I'm gonna put Margaret back. Um, that was definitely a mistake. But that's okay. Well, I hope I kill with one card because I have infinite Matrona cards in hand. Infinite, I say. Oh, he didn't die? I'm surprised. I just didn't do that much damage. <laughs> I didn't die because I didn't do that much damage. Alright. You know what? I mean, I'm using Merlin. And I'm using alt food. Might actually be more worth, instead of using blue melee, just straight up use Emilia and Margaret instead. Mm. I don't know, I'm not that big on alt rush anyways. So I'm just I'm just thinking here. Let's remove that buff on the Gaffer and take off the ultimate gauge. What I could actually do, I don't know if it's worth it. Switch over, you know, the Emilia for Margaret. And put dodge food. But mm, nah, I it might actually be just better just keeping Margaret. Having three ultimate gauge in the beginning, so I can actually push Margaret's ultimate and Lost Fane's. Because Lost Fane will get five regardless. In any case. I don't know how likely it is for me to win still, because he just she just got straight up one shot. She just got straight up one shot. I had a level two. That was a level two. She had, did she have max HP? She had full HP. Hot damn. Okay. Mm. Well, that is not good. I want to seal the goddess Liz with the hopes that. First of all, this will break the shield. Because Mali doesn't hit that hard. Okay. Well, the hopes that she has all the cards. And that Godfrey doesn't have any rank ups. Hmm. Under freeze. He's gonna debuff me. One of the reasons why also they want to bring Margaret was I was like, oh, I'm going to face Green Gaffer and Margaret's going to be useless anyways, but it seems like I was incorrect in thinking that. Let me actually do this. It seems like I was incorrect on thinking that. This is gonna take forever. Can I just move on? Come on. Come on. Come on. Die, witch! I hope she dies. <laughs> I think she will. I think they will. I think Ascari dies too. No shot. Merlin, please kill. If I had attacked, I wouldn't kill either. I can freeze him next turn. Yeah, I won. It's fine. And if you had any questions to why alt rushing with a taunt is not a popular strategy anymore, I present you this match. Oh, I put Margaret, now I face someone that doesn't have Green Golf. That's great. That's great. Um. 
Low key, I kind of want to go for... <sighs> yeah, I kind of want to go for the, the, the Matrona ultimate just so he wastes a take off ultimate gauge on him. I should break the shield with Margaret, right? Like a Margaret AoE, a level 1, it should break it, right? Level 1 shield? Right? Hopefully. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm screwed. <laughs> this is why I want to show you the ultimates. Because I'm not so sure, actually. I mean, I don't have to ult. Should be fair. I really don't have to. Mm. I don't have to hold the blue card either. I'm just gonna do this. You would not have broken it. So good thing I didn't. <laughs> That did a lot of damage. Wow. She cannot tank. <laughs> like, I know Tarmio hits hard. But wow. That did a little too much damage. Let me remove the buffs from Tarmio. So that he actually dies. Just to make sure. No damage reduction coming from him. Wow! Did he have damage reduction? Like, does he have Ellie Hawk? No way that he would just tank that, like, nonchalantly like this. Like, that, that was, it was like 70% of his health. Only 70%. Yeah, this is why I wanted to show you ultimates. Okay. That was only 70%. I can go for another ultimate. It's gonna cost me a lot of damage though. She healed a lot. Wait. My characters healed a lot. From that ultimate. I just noticed that. Wait. You see, like, I, I took the Tarmia ultimate. I almost have full health. Jeez. I almost didn't notice that. I have almost full health. I'm confident I'm gonna kill. So, that's why I didn't take off the ultimate gauge. Unless he actually has... He must have Liz. There's no way. That is such little damage. He has to have Liz. Right? No, he can't because he has Goddess Liz. Why is Lost Vane doing like no damage? That is seriously like lackluster. It's l very lackluster damage. She died now, because of course she did. That is such bad damage. Like, I know I should have taken off the ultimate gauge, but I was so confident he would kill. Because of course he would. It's Lost Vein's ultimate. What happened? Plain old Gringo, Gringo Thunder. What was that? Lost Vein. That was terrible.
terrible damage. What? So come, let's ignore the horrible damage Lost Vein just did. Matrona's like heal was insane there. Actually insane. Hmm. It was actually insane. He's gonna take off my ultimate gauge. That is my first wave of ultimate gauge. Man, ult rush just doesn't work anymore, does it? It just doesn't. Unless he can triple debuff me again. I got also in five cards in hand, so... This time I might do some damage. Maybe I just have too many memories of Lost Vein doing a lot of damage. And only remember that. That these days he his ultimate isn't all that. Now with the absurd amount of HP units have these days. I can't move a card. If I move a card, I'm gonna do less damage. Let's keep the five cards in hand. I could have clicked a card, but that's fine. Because if I clicked one, and just like if I clicked the last one, for instance, it wouldn't matter. Because just having it in hand, you do the same damage as. Uh, just having, like, you know, as a next to go, you do the same amount of damage as having it in hand. At least. That was our perception when Lost Vein was a thing, Red Lost Vein. So I assume it's still like, like that. In any case, not the most meta thing ever, but I can't lie, that healing was very impressive. If not for... I was gonna say the cards are gonna combine. If not for, you know, this not being like strictly a meta anymore, I think maybe she would actually be better than Green DN. I'm just speaking strictly on like the frame of me having low HP and then exact like the next frame, I had almost max HP, <laughs> like with all my characters, with no Tarmios, there's no Tarmio on my team. None of these units have Tarmio. I can, I can just remove the box. Uh, he's still disabled as well. As a tank, I have to admit, she's better than the end. I think so. Like, that first turn thing, the end's passive, I think might actually just be better. Like, is it though? Is it better than the healing? I don't know. I guess it's for you to decide which one you want more. Quite impressive though.